All right, hey everyone, what's going on? So today's video, I want to let you guys uh, look at the Samsung Gear Icon X, uh, the 2018 version. And I'm currently having it connected through the Samsung Gear app with the Samsung Galaxy S9. Just got that phone recently, so I'm about to try it with that. But to be fair, just to let you all know that in this review, I'm basically going to talk about how my experience was while using the Gear Icon X with the LG uh, the LG G6 phone over here because that's the phone I was using it with. So real buyer experience. So I bought everything out of my pocket and um, nothing here was given to me. So I'm going to just go ahead and let you guys uh, know that um, that my experience was all real buyer experience. Okay, so got it connected. Um, so let's get get started. So what it comes with what uh, over here, we got the adapters kind of interesting to point these things out because never seen anything like this before something that comes with different adapters type C USB to type C adapter and then USB to um, micro USB get your charging cable, which is actually a micro USB. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, a type C charging very interesting. Got some set of ear fins and ear gels earbuds in here. So you find a size that fits you, you might want to play around with those until you find the right size because sometimes you might find the right size and in about an hour wearing them uh they they get somewhat uncomfortable all right so eventually i found my size that i wanted okay and of course i'll let you guys look at the gear icon x uh app over here of course if you're pairing these with a samsung phone you must have the samsung gear app okay but if not if it's a non samsung phone which they could be paired to like LG phone and Android phones. That's not Samsung. And of course it can be paired to uh, iPhones as well. So that's very cool, right? Um, so there it is. You got the earbuds over here. Um, these are actually already paired. And if I'm correct, the 2018 version has the built-in memory into these earbuds, which is really neat. It's about four gigs storage memory, but based on what I've seen, um, you don't actually get four gigs itself. So that's a bummer, but you know, I think three and a half gigs is somewhat okay to have a good amount of music in there. So you don't need to take your phone with you. You can leave your phone in your car and everything in the car and just walk with the earbuds to the gym. Very nice, right? Very nice. That That's very, very interesting. And one of the reasons why I bought these. And of course, their style and overall discreet look to it uh, compared to the other competitors out there. These in particular, they don't stick out of your ears. So that's why I chose those instead of the others. And of course, I'm a huge fan of Samsung. Definitely. Of course, you can see I got the S9 recently. I'm so excited to try that out as well. Okay, so I got some bullets here that I want to go over just to keep the review short and Thank you to that one person who suggested writing down some bullets uh, to kind of go over the thing. So and I'll give you guys some feedback on it. And of course, a little look at the app itself. Okay, so of course, we got the charging case. Uh, it's a type C charging case. You got the dedicated uh, slots for them left and right type C. So you can charge them more than once. And of course, you can charge the case itself. So lots of life and these earbuds, they usually last about um, well, with my experience, the first time they kind of lasted for three hours. I don't know. I don't know what happened there. And then the second time they lasted more than three hours, but it's supposed to be five to six hours. I might be wrong on that. But anyways, um, again, of course, they can be paired to Android or iPhones. It doesn't have to be a Samsung phone. Uh, we got, again, you need the app for a Samsung phone for these things to be paired. Okay. It's sweat and water resistance, definitely meant for working out and by far the best earbuds that I've bought in all of my life <laughs> with these other Bluetooths uh, for the gym. Definitely, I'm going to be sticking to those until something else comes up. Okay, even better than the LG Tone Actives. Sorry, LG, but these guys went hands down. All right, uh, let's look at the call quality. Call quality was somewhat all right. Of course, the person could have hear me and I could have heard the person. No complaints there. And again, remember, this was using the LG G6 phone, the only phone that I use this with. Okay. So sorry, you know, everything I had to buy out of my pocket. And that's just how it works. Of course, music quality. Um, again, it was kind of flat, could get really loud, but just flat, no equalizer settings or anything like that. Um, yeah, and definitely what you would call true wireless earbuds because they stay into your ears and with the variety of ear tips that you get in ear gels you can just find a size for you and this one in particular the smallest smallest size for me was the best and they actually label the little ear fins uh there's left and right on them so you don't really have a problem finding the the right size and the right um side for them okay and yeah again um the 
the design definitely my favorite out of all the competitors out there the price however to me could have been a little bit cheaper maybe around 140 come on guys 165.99 i got that from ebay that was the only place i know of that i could have bought and the best deal from from the i mean well at the time i bought them that was the best deal um ebay compared to amazon and then of course uh a next complaint was the connectivity i don't know if it if it was just because of the LG phone, but sometimes the left side would disconnect suddenly and then reconnect like a, there's like a, a, a blank moment where it just disconnects for like two to three seconds and reconnect. It didn't happen often. Um, I'd say probably around three to four times and then after that didn't experience that again, but I was kind of scary and I was kind of worried. And the worst of all is the touch sensitive buttons. Now, if you don't know about the Gear Icon X, they are touch sensitive. Of course, when you double tap it, it goes to the next track. Um, I think triple tap is back track. When you swipe it up, it's up, bring up the volume and swipe down is bring down the volume. And tap once is play and tap once again is um, pause. And of course the same if you're getting a call, just tap it one time and you'll answer the call. Very nice, very cool. However, sometimes it just does not respond to my finger. For example, while using it with the G6, I would pause it. And then I would tap it again to play it again, and it's just not playing. So that was a complaint for me. Maybe it was just for me, just my experience. And yeah, that's basically all I really have to say about the earbuds itself, but really nice overall. Let's go ahead and look at the app. It's currently connected to the S9. I want to see uh, what the app is capable of. And of course, they're already asking for updates. Everything is just updates these days, right? So we got sound volume over here. Um, what else do we got to transfer the music? So I guess this is the part. If you have the songs in your phone, you can actually transfer it to your earbuds. Really excited to see how that one works. I will let you guys know. And then, of course, if you have your earbuds, uh, the gear I can X connected right now at the time, and they're in your ears, I guess from play from play music from, which basically means uh, you can either do it from the phone or if you already have the music stored onto your earbuds. And I guess it's not highlighted or maybe it's just I have to select it. Um, Definitely you can choose whether you want to play it with the earbuds only or play the song or if you're watching a video from the phone instead, which is very nice. Lots of customizable customizable features. And of course, we got the health. Never even used that before. Who does use that? Uh, I mean, I just, I just work out. I just I already know what I want to do in my mind every time I go to the gym. But I mean, if you're interested into that sort of stuff, definitely you want to go in ahead and look into that but i'm not going to tap it because i know already that it's going to tell me to update so let's go to settings and see uh transfer tracks to gear okay very nice so we got exercise find my gear so i guess if you lost them place them someplace else and i guess they would have to be connected for that to work and then read out menu options and voice so there's also a void a few times a female voice that um comes on it says great job and something something about this amount of place you uh, steps you took and something like that. Uh, I was like, what, what what on earth is that? But anyways, uh, so it's a lot of features. I really want to play with this. Um, what I'm going to do is use it with my S9 for a while. And if you want to hear feedback on that, leave it in the comments section and I will gladly do my best. But it seems like you're better off buying this um, if you, you're you going to use it with a Samsung phone because you get more features out of it. And like I said, if you, you compare it to an iPhone or other Android phones but you're just basically they're only going to work as um, wireless earbuds for workout and you, you just have to play everything straight from the phone so it's better with a Samsung phone you get more features and then you will see the true value of it but I guess with non Samsung phones you're not really going to enjoy it much and that's just my overall opinion but still that price should have been a little bit cheaper but other than that don't forget to like share subscribe if you missed out on anything leave it in the comment section i'll do my best to answer you guys thanks for watching peace and stick around for more guides and reviews see you